Hello, everybody. This is Paul Smith for the Lone Star Conference. I'm here with head coach Beth Jilson from the Texas Women's Pioneers. And coach, we've had some technical difficulties getting this down. So hopefully the third time <laughs> is the charm today. Uh, but we will we will go through these questions and, uh, you know, give you a chance to talk about your team and the league as a whole. And, and, and really, I want to start by talking about your expectations. What expectations do you have for your team this year? Yeah, I just think this is a different year, obviously unprecedented times. And um, I just think it's really, really important that um, we stay connected throughout this time, that we value each day, you know, and, and that um, I've been real impressed with our our veterans. You know, we were pretty young last year, and I think it's um, really important that um, they step up and, you know, you never know who might be out each day. And, and so far, I've been real impressed with the leadership and um, expectation is just to to control have that discipline to do that and to, and then to continue to get better each and every day. Um, what changes, improvements have you made as a team this offseason? I think the biggest improvement is our ability to space the floor, the ball, knock down those open shots. Our players have been um, spending a ton of time in the gym. And I think just with COVID, that came naturally, having to stay um, so many feet apart. And so um, really just um, our scores mentality, and I feel like we have some green light shooters that are going to, um, you know, be ready to light it up in KMA this year. You know, this off season was filled with adversity for everybody. Um, it, it was certainly not the ending to the season that most teams wanted to see last year, but th these times of adversity really help us learn about our teams. What sort of things did you learn about your team? as they battled through this off season, this unconventional off season. Yeah. Um, just, you know, they did a great job of thinking outside the box, um, whether that was in our film Fridays, you know, just um, taking advantage of what we could do. Definitely their academics did not drop off. I believe they had a 3.81 um, in the off season and um, really in the summer too, when we could get in the gym, um, just them taking advantage of that time. And so, um, you know, I think the, the biggest thing is that we were able to get better in other ways besides being on the court. You've got some returning players from last year that are going to bring some experience to this team. Um, what are you expecting out of them? Yeah, I think it starts with our seniors, uh, Michaela Woods and Cam Daly. Um, you know, they've been in our program now for three years. They know the expectations, and um, I think they're hungry um, to, to, you know, definitely make a statement their senior year. Michaela Woods, I think she's going to come in and be um, a great rebounder for us. She is a sniper from the mid-range. Um, she's really worked on her, um, you know, outside game as well, being able to play that three and four position. And then Cam Daly, she just does all the dirty work. You know, I mean, she's on the boards. She's one of our best screeners. She's constantly communicating with her teammates. And um, both of them have been great leader leaders vocally for us. Uh, and then we have another senior who's new to our program, um, Kendall Lentz, and she's a transfer from Stetson. Um, and she is just a hard-nosed, tough, aggressive player who's very versatile. She can play inside and out. Um, and, you know, she's just come in and um, in with our team well and really stepped up as a leader, too. Obviously, Kendall, a very talented newcomer, but you've got some consistency coming back at the guard position as well. Definitely. Sadie Moyer, who's going to be a sophomore for us. And I really think the biggest year growth um, comes between your freshman and your sophomore year. And she put in a ton of work in the gym over the summer and is, is in the gym all the time now. But she will be a green light shooter for us. She can definitely um, hit from the perimeter, has range, but she's not one dimensional. She can get to the rim. She can hit the pull up. Uh, it's also one of our best defenders. And then we have Brielle Woods at the point guard position. Um, you know, same thing. She was a freshman last year, so I expect to see a ton of growth from her. One of our best on-ball on defenders. And offensively, just the year under her belt is really understanding our system, really good uh, coming off ball screens and creating for others. Any other newcomers that you're expecting to make an impact this year? Definitely. We have Jordan Jenkins, who is a transfer from UTEP. One of the most poised point guards that I've ever coached. Um, next play mentality. Um, she is does a great job getting to the rim. Also does a great job creating for others. Um, on, and she'll be um, just phenomenal for us on both sides of the floor. Um, and really will be a great leader for us as well. And then we have our only freshman, Scout Hubbard, out of Prosper, who doesn't play like a freshman. I have just been so impressed with her um, and just her maturity on the floor as a freshman. 
As, as you focus on your team as a whole, getting ready for the year, what aspect is the most important for the Pioneers to be successful this year? Um, really just staying connected, um, being on the same page. I think that is going to you know, lead to less turnovers. Um, it's going to be better on both sides of the floor, trusting each other defensively, knowing that our help side's you know, there for us. And, and I think we've come a long way in this preseason of just um, – you know, being more connected and collaborating on and off the floor and really getting to know each other. And just like we said before, with these unprecedented times and not knowing who will have each day, I think um, working together and, um, you know, working together as a team is going to be key for us. It's a tough schedule, even under the best of circumstances. This year, there are going to be some days where you play on back-to-back days. You're going to be playing opponents consecutively. You know, it's, it's, it's a necessity given the times we're in. But uh, how does that change your approach? Yeah, I mean, I think recovery is, is going to be key for us. Um, you know, it, it is different to play back to back, but everybody's in the same boat. And so um, we're going to make sure that we are disciplined and controlling what we can do, um, you know, and making sure we're, we're eating right, we're getting lots of rest, we're recovering and um, holding each other accountable. I think that's going to be a huge key with, with all these back to back games and especially, you know, playing on the road. Obviously, success on the court is a big thing, but that that's not the whole equation here. Part of the balance is what they do academically, what they do off the court. What kind of pride are you taking in what your kids are accomplishing outside of basketball? Um, I have incredible pride in who our young ladies are. They are great ambassadors for our university, whether it's them volunteering their time in the community or their commitment to academic excellence. I think um, last year we had a 3.6 team GPA um, just with a lot of adversity. They are um, extremely, um, you know, competitive young ladies in every area. And I'm just so proud of the young women that they are. Well, thank you, Coach Jillson, for joining us. Wish you the best of luck this season. Thanks so much.